the next topic uh, diagonalization of a matrix by orthogonal transformation first we go for this diagonalization of a matrix so what do you mean by this diagonalization of a matrix suppose a matrix a is given so like uh, 1 2 3 0 5 and zero, zero, 0 6 So this is a matrix, given matrix. The process of converting a given matrix into a diagonal matrix, whose diagonal elements are the eigenvalues of given matrix. So that process is called one diagonalization of a matrix. Suppose uh, this is uh, a upper triangular matrix. So obviously, we can write the eigenvalues as the leading diagonal elements. So eigen values are so one five six. Will be the diagonal matrix. So one zero 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 five zero 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 six. So making a given matrix into the diagonal matrix like this. So that is called one diagonalization of a matrix. Diagonalization of a matrix. Next, the orthogonal transformation. The same procedure, transforming A into a diagonal matrix by means of the transformation n transpose A n equal to D. Then it is called one diagonalization of a matrix by orthogonal transformation. Transforming A into diagonal matrix. By means of the transformation, n transpose a n equal to d, where n is nothing but normalized model matrix, and d is the diagonal matrix whose diagonal elements are the eigenvalues of a given matrix. So that is called what? That is known as diagonalization of matrix by orthogonal transformation. Right? Okay. If we will do one problem, so then only we can understand this. So diagonalize the matrix A equal so two one minus one 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 minus two and minus one minus two one by means of orthogonal transformation. So orthogonal transformation is possible only when a given matrix is a real symmetric matrix. You verify that whenever the question is given, you verify that the given matrix is a real symmetric matrix. If it is a real symmetric matrix, then only the procedure is applicable. If it is not so, we can't apply this. Orthogonal transformation, right? So, what is the orthogonal transformation? So, n transpose a n equal to d. So, n is nothing but normalized model matrix. So, what do you mean by normalized model matrix? Then, what is model matrix? The model matrix is nothing but the model matrix is obtained by By using the eigen vectors of a given matrix, we will see one. We will do one problem. Then only can understand this. The first, we have to find out the eigen values and the eigen vectors of given matrix. How can we find out the eigen values and the eigen vectors? First, we go for a Cartesian equation. So, lambda cube minus p lambda square plus q lambda minus r equal to zero. What is p now? The sum of the Diagonal elements so two plus one plus one is equal to four. Then Q equal to what is it? Determinant so one minus two minus two one. Then plus two minus one minus one one plus two one one one. So this is equal to so one minus four plus two minus one. Plus two minus one is equal to what is that? Minus one, right? Then R equal to so determinant of A. So two one minus one, one one minus two, minus one minus two one. So expand it. So two in two. So one minus four, minus one in two, one minus two. Minus one into minus two plus one, so minus one. So this is equal to 
minus 4 here, right? Okay. And what will be the catalysis equation? So lambda Q minus 4 lambda squared minus lambda plus 4 is called 0. So solving this equation, we get the three roots. That roots are called the eigenvalues of a given matrix. How can you solve this equation? Write the coefficient. So 1, minus 4, minus 1, 4. Write 1 here. 1, 1, minus 3, minus 3, minus 4, minus 4. So this is 0. Right? So lambda minus 1. So lambda square minus 3 lambda minus 4 equal to 0. Then you factorize this. So lambda minus 4, lambda plus 1 equal to 0. Am I right? So lambda equal to 1, 4, minus 1. Therefore the eigenvalues are One four minus one. How can you verify these eigenvalues are right or wrong? You know the property. Sum of the eigenvalues is equal to sum of the leading diagonal elements. So add these eigenvalues, you may get four. The sum of the leading diagonal elements is also four. Right? Now we go for the next. The eigenvectors are given by. In the formula number again, a minus lambda into x equal to 0. Lambda under root 9 again. So, 2 minus lambda, 1 minus 1, 1, 1 minus lambda, minus 2, minus 1, minus 2, 1 minus lambda into x is replaced by x1, x2, x3 equal to 0. Now, we'll go for three cases. So when lambda equal to the first one, one, case one. When lambda equal to one, what will be the equations now? So two minus one, one, one minus one, one, zero minus two, minus one, minus two, zero. So x one, x two, x three equal to zero. We form the equation, so x one plus x two, minus x3 equal to 0, then x1 plus 0 x2, minus 2 x3 equal to 0, then minus x1 minus 2 x2 plus 0 x3 equal to 0. You take the first two equation and apply the method of cross multiplication, what will be the cross multiplication, so from 1 and 2. So from 1 and 2, this is 1 and this is 2. So x1, x2, x3, the coefficients 1, 1, minus 1, 1, 0, minus 2. Again, you repeat the first two columns, then x1 by, so omit this column and this row, write these four elements 1, minus 1, 0, minus 2, equal to x2 by, omit this column and this row, so minus 1, 1, minus 2, 1. And x3 by so 1 1 1 0. So simplify it x1 by minus 2 x2 by so minus 1 plus 2 so 1 x3 by minus 1. Therefore, the eigenvector x1 equal minus 2 1 minus 1 or 2 minus 1, 1. You multiply it by minus 1, you may get uh, 2 minus 1, 1. Either you can write minus 2, 1, minus 1, minus 1 or 2 minus 1, 1. So this is the first eigenvector. Next, in case 2, when lambda equal to 4. So when lambda equal to 4. All this equation substitute here. So 2 minus 4 is minus 2, 1, minus 1. So 1, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, x1, x2, x3 equal to 0. What will be the equation? minus 2 x1 plus x2 minus x3 equal to 0, x1 minus 3 x2 minus 2 x3 equal to 0, 
minus x1 minus 2x2 minus 3x3 equal to 0. The first two equations, so x1, x2, x3, by the coefficients minus 2, 1, minus 1, 1 minus 3 minus 2, repeat the first two columns, 1 minus 3. So what is x1 now? So minus 2, minus 3, minus 5. So x2 by, so minus 1, so minus 4, so minus 5, x3 by 6 minus 1, 5, right? Therefore, the eigenvector x2 equal, we divide by minus 5, so 1, 1, minus 1, right? So this is a second eigenvector. Now the third one, when lambda equal, minus 1. When lambda equal to minus 1, the third eigen vector. Negative okay, okay, this is the case 3. Put minus 1 here. 3, 1, minus 1. 1, 2, minus 2. Minus 1, minus 2, 2. x1, x2, x3 equal to 0. From the equation, 3x1 plus x2 minus x3 equal to 0. x1 plus 2x2 minus 2x3 equal to 0. Minus x1 minus 2x2 plus 2x3 equal to 0. Take the first two equations. So x1, x2, x3, write the coefficients. So 3, 1, minus 1. Then 1, 2, minus 2. So x1 by this column and multiply this minus 2 plus 2, 0. x2 by, you take this minus 1 plus 6. So 5, x3 by 6 minus 1, 5. Therefore x3 equal to 0, 1, 1, right? So we got the answers, so is eigenvalues. I can with this. So I can values when lambda equal to one, I'll be the eigen vector. I think uh, two minus one one. All right. Then when lambda equal to four, the second eigen vector. One one minus one. Right. Then the third one, when lambda equal to minus 1, x3 equal to 0, 1, 1. So whether we can verify these uh, eigenvectors, right or wrong. And the property, the last property says, the eigenvalues of the eigenvectors corresponding to two distinct eigenvalues are orthogonal. So here all the eigenvectors are distinct. So each eigenvectors are orthogonal in pair. So orthogonal means one. The inner product is zero. So multiply the corresponding elements and add the value, you may get zero. So here all the eigenvectors are orthogonal in pair. Next we go for the normalized eigenvector. So what do you mean by normalized eigenvector? So you consider uh, each eigenvector. Okay, you take the first eigenvector. So you divide each element by square root of sum of the squares of that elements. How can you find out normalized eigenvector? So each element of the eigenvector is divided by square root of sum of the squares of all these elements. Now what will be that? You take this. Suppose uh, L x equal x1, x2, x3. So you take L equal square root of sum of the squares of this. So that is 
x1 square plus x2 square plus x3 square. So, this is a column vector. Then you divide each element by, so that is x equal x1 by L, x2 by L, x3 by L. So, which is called 1, a normalized eigenvector. So, here what we can get normalized eigenvector, the squares of this, what is that 4 plus 1 plus 1, then root 6. We divide each element by root 6. So, that is 2 by root 6 minus 1 by root 6, 1 by root 6, right. Then the second eigenvector will be the square value is 1 plus 1 plus 1, so that is 3, taking root, each element by, divide each element by root 3. So, 1 by root 3, 1 by root 3, minus 1 by root 3, right. Then here will be the squares 1 plus 1 taking root, so root, you divide each element by root 2, so 0 by root 2 is 0, 1 by root 2, 1 by root. So, these vectors are called normalized eigenvector, right. Now, what do you mean by model matrix? Model matrix is nothing but, you write the eigenvectors as a column of this matrix. So, that is, so m equal to the first eigenvector is the first column. Second eigenvector is the second column and third eigenvector is the third column. So, this matrix is called model matrix. So, normalized model matrix. You write this normalized eigenvectors as a column of that matrix. That matrix is called normalized model matrix. It is denoted by the symbol N. So, you write the first ma column matrix as a first column. So, 2 by root 6 minus 1 by root 6, 1 by root 6, the second column, so 1 by root 3, 1 by root 3, minus 1 by root 3, and the third column, 0, 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2. So, we can found this normalized model matrix. What I have to prove by orthogonal transformation, we have to prove that, so N transpose a n equal to d, where d is nothing but eigenvalues of, uh, d is nothing but diagonal matrix, whose diagonal elements are eigenvalues of a given matrix. The eigenvalues of a given matrix are 1, 4 and minus 1, right. So, you take this uh, n transpose, what is n transpose? So, transposing rows into column of this matrix. You may get, so you take the left hand side, so n transpose a n equal to n transpose, so 3 by root 6, 1 by root 3, 0, first row as the first column, then second one, minus 1 by root 6, 1 by root 3, and 1 by root 2, then third row as 1 by root 6, minus 1 by root 3, 1 by root 2 into A. What is A? So, A, A is of 2, 1, minus 1, 1, 1, minus 2, minus 1, minus 2, 1 and into N. You multiply these three matrices, you may get the diagonal matrix whose diagonal elements are diagonal values of a given matrix. So, that is a 1, 0, 0, 0, 4, 0, 0, 0, no, it is not equal to 0. You write like this. D of 1, 4, minus 1. Okay. Now, now try this uh, following problems. So, diagonalize the following matrices by orthogonal reduction. So, orthogonal transformation and orthogonal reduction are the same, right? You try these three problems, right? Okay. 